In this video, I am going to show you how to fix the filter has mismatched range sizes error in Google Sheets. So this is going to be a pretty short video, but I wanted to cover this because I have been getting a few questions about this. So if you've ever seen this error message, which says error, filter has mismatched range sizes, you have made an error in the filter function. So this video is not meant to be a tutorial on the filter function. I have covered that in a different video, so I'm not gonna spend too much time going over that. But let me just show you using the filter function quickly. So I'm gonna use the filter function on this data set, and what I'm going to do is I'm gonna filter it by this range and only return the things greater than 1,000. So my first parameter of the function is the entire data set I'm filtering. And then my second parameter in the function is the conditional that I want to check this for. And so I'm only gonna filter things from this data set where column B is greater than 1000. And so this returns these four values because these are the four that are greater than 1000 and you can see the ones that are less than 1,000 are not returned. So that is what the filter function does. But you may get this error message. Filter has mismatched range sizes. So this error is gonna most commonly occur when you have mismatched range sizes. Kind of like the error message states. One thing you need to know about using the filter function is that my first parameter and second parameter need to be the same length. So my first one, A2 through B8, that is seven rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. My second parameter, B2 through B7, now this is only six rows. So you're gonna get this error message. So whenever you get this filter has mismatched range sizes, check the parameters of the function and make sure that they are of the same length. Whether you're using it on rows or on columns, if they don't match, you're gonna get this error. So more often than not, you just have a typo in the parameter here where they're not the same length or you've put the entirely wrong range into the function. So to fix this error message, just make sure that your two parameters here are the same length. So that's it for this video. Again, I just wanted to show this because I have been getting a few questions on this and it is useful to know. If you wanna learn more about using the filter function, just make sure to check out my previous video where I cover it in depth. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.